Namaste students in this video we are going to learn story sums on subtraction of decimals here is the story sum a container holds 50.6 liters of water if 19.7 liters of water is used up how much water is left in container after reading this question we will come to know that water inside the container is 50.6 liters out of that they used 19.7 liters we have to find how much water is left in the container which means we have to subtract 19.7 liters from 50.6 liters so i will write the statement water in container is equals to 50.6 liters water used is equals to 19.7 liters to find water left in container i am subtracting this 19.7 liters in 50.6 liters since i wrote water left in container is equals to 50.6 liters minus 19.7 liters i will write these two decimal numbers in column wise then i will do subtraction 6 is smaller 7 is larger so i have to borrow to make this 6 as a larger number previous place is 1 in this there is a 0 from 0 we can't borrow so i will borrow from the 5 after borrowing one from 5 5 will become 4 this number will become 10 after that i will borrow one from this 10 this 10 will become 9 then this number 6 will become 16 now i can subtract this 7 from the 16 16 minus 7 9 decimal point as it is 9 minus 9 0 4 minus 1 3 after subtracting i got 30.9 hence water left in container is 30.9 liters let's take one more problem A shopkeeper had rupees five hundred point five zero in his cash box when the sales began. At the end of the day, he had rupees two thousand. How much did he sell that day? After reading this question, we will come to know that before starting the sales, a shopkeeper had rupees five hundred point five zero. once he end his sales on that day after selling some of the things amount became as rupees 2000 what is the sale on that day we have to find which means the amount beginning it was 500.50 after that it became 2000 to find the sale on that day we have to subtract this 500 Point five zero in two thousand rupees. So first, I will write the statement. Amount in cash box is equals to rupees five hundred point five zero. Amount with him at end of the day is equals to rupees two thousand. Since sales of the day is equals to rupees two thousand minus rupees five hundred. Point five zero. I will write these two decimal numbers in column wise. After subtracting, I will get zero minus zero zero. Zero is smaller. I have to borrow from the next place. Next three places are zero. I can't borrow from all these three places. I can borrow from the thousands place. If I borrow one from this two, two will become one. Then these numbers will become ten. Then again I am borrowing one from this. It will become nine. Same way this number will become ten. I will borrow one from this ten. It will become nine. Then this number is also becomes ten. I will borrow one from this ten also. This will also become nine. Then this tens place will become ten. I am not borrowing anything from this ten, so ten will remain as the ten. Ten minus five, five. 
decimal point as it is 9 minus 0 9 9 minus 0 9 9 minus 5 it is 4 1 as it is hence I got a difference as 1499.50 therefore I will say that sales of that day is rupees 1499.50 Let's take one more problem on this. What should be added to 0 0.329 to get 30.56? So which operation we have to do in this? That is the main question we have to understand in this. As you can see here, I will take one simple example. I will take two. I have to make this 2 as 5. After adding which number it will become 5, you will easily say that it is number 3. How you got this 3? Means we subtracted this 2 from 5, we got this number 3. Since here also to make this smaller number as larger number, how much we have to add? Which means we have to subtract this 0 0.329 from 30.56 since this question is based on the subtraction. So I will do the subtraction that is 30.56 minus 0 0.329 after subtracting. I will get this one as 30.231. This is the final answer. Hence, we have to add 30.231 to make this 0 0.329 to get as 30.56. These are the few story sums on decimals.